Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I'm back with another design team project for Tsunami Rose Designs. So this month I made a, another junk journal and this one I used um, the Hummingbird collection. So the Hummingbird journal sets, there's I believe three different sets and she sent me um, some of all three of them. <clears throat> so let me go over what I used in my journal. So I used the Hummingbird sets 1, 2, and 3, the Hummingbird's envelope set 4, postcard set 3, the Hummingbird telegram set 1, and then I used um, some of the decoupage flowers, parts of the Life of Bloom kit, parts of the Charming Fragments kit. I also used some floral um, library uh, cards and um, a couple of other digitals from um, Tsunami Rose Designs. So um, my journal is not too chunky. It has about 12 pages in it, I believe. And um, I made it out of a file folder, which is, this is the first time I use a file, file, a file folder as my cover. I also, um, I did a, I guess you would call it a clean and simple journal where I didn't do any distressing or distress inking. I did do some misting. I used um, this Glimmer Mist in um, blue icing. And then I also used some of this uh, Recollection Simply Pastel in um, green shimmer. So this one I splattered on and the, the Glimmer Mist I, I spritzed that one on. But you'll see that on my pages. And I used some laces, um, love laces in my journals. So again, like I said, I used a file folder for the cover. And I covered it with one of the Life of Bloom papers. Really beautiful floral pattern. Um, and then I added two layers of lace here. A layer of lace on this side. And then some pearl trim. Also pearl trim here. And then I took an inventory card that I found at a thrift store. And I kind of like ripped it up. There's a piece of it here, and then there's a piece down here that actually got covered up with the flowers. And then this is one of the journaling pages from the Hummingbird sets. And I just kind of like ripped it out really jaggedly. I love that image, and I love the pinks and the blues and the purples and the yellows in it. And then I hope my camera's picking up that shimmer, and that's the blue icing glimmer mist. Um, so then I just glued on some little flowers here and there. I tied a bow out of some lace and put some more flowers. And then at the bottom, um, I have some, this is some, um, uh, some twine. And then there's some flowers here, different flowers from Michael's and some Prima flowers and flowers from my stash. And then on the back, I covered it with another one of the Life of Bloom papers, some more of that pearl trim, and then another one of the images that I just ripped out of the page um, and just glued it onto the back. So really pretty. Um, and so when you open it up, here's another beautiful page from the collection. And then this is just some graph paper that I cut down and folded in half and created a pocket with it. Then I added some um, eyelet trim and a little bow. And then these are some uh, prayer uh, or scripture cards and reflections. And I just printed them and then folded it in half to create a little, a little fold. So you're not going to see any um, distress inking or anything like that in this journal. Um, unless it's already pre-built into the page. So here's one of the beautiful papers from the collection. And so this one does have a scripture on it. it. Well, not a scripture, but a verse. And it says, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. And so the kit, the hummingbird kit does come plain where it doesn't have, um, it is available where it does not have any sentiments in it. Um, so mine is a mixture of some pages with and some pages without the, the sentiments. So really beautiful birds. And then that's like a, a ledger paper. And then on this page, this is one of the decoupage flowers that I printed really, really big. And then I fussy cut it out and I used it as a as a tuck spot. So these are some of the um, journaling cards. Really, really beautiful. I love the image that's on them. And then I just printed them um, and they're plain on the back and tucked them behind the flower. 
and then you can see that beautiful image on that page um, some of the papers you'll see they look a little glossy or shiny and those I printed on a laser printer um, but most of the um, most of the pages I did print or at least some of them I did print on a um, a, um, a desk a desk jet printer so here's a square doily and I spritzed that with the glimmer mist and then on the back these are some of the postcards the prayer postcards with scriptures on them really really beautiful love 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 this paper and then this is just a card that I have in my stash it's like a really pretty gold shimmer card it's just a note card so I put that in and then um, this is an envelope from a different a different paper set that I have and I loved it because it has the look of a doily so I just put that on put the bow and that's a tuck spot and then here's an, one of, another one of the journaling cards from the collection and I just added some of that pearl trim a flower and a bling in the center and then on the other side I continued fussy cutting out the rest of the doily from the envelope and then I glued on one of the decoupage flowers on top of it and then that's another beautiful tuck spot and then this is actually a um, a seed packet and I got these from I think the Dollar Tree and I got I think they're like four four dollars so I bought a, a few um, and to use in my projects so I just ripped out you know this little image from one of the pages that I printed smaller tuck some lace behind it and staple that all together and then that just tucks behind that doily image so here's another page I did some spritzing and then there's some lace on the side and then here is um, one of the the journaling spots um, a lot of them have the title things to do and these would be really cool to use in your planner um, so I just took it and I cut a deep V in it and glued it down only at the bottom to create a tuck spot to hold these really really beautiful telegrams and then I just glued on a little piece of lace there but I just printed this um, twice and used it as a like a little fold over and that tucks there and then I just put a little sticker at the top and then there's some more spritzing of the glimmer mist and the um, that green shimmer spray so this is a, um, a window envelope that I got in the mail and I turned it upside down so here's the flap and then this would be the bottom of the envelope I cut I cut that bottom part created a V here put some lace and then put um, part of one of the pages here and that's a little tuck and I have a life of bloom ticket there and then these are some more of the hummingbird little um, journaling spots and they just tuck into that pocket and then on this page all I did was put some lace there and then on the back this image here is the only thing that's printed on the page the other ones I cut out um, I printed on different papers and then I fussy cut them out and just um, put them on glued them onto the page to give it a bunch of birds and then here's a glassine envelope I just have a library ticket a library um, card there and then these are some of the postcards and I just printed them side by side cut it out folded it in half and then just put a little bling there and then this just tucks into the um, the um, glassing bag and it stays like that um, another thing that I love to use in my journals are the square doilies and I like to fold them in half uh, triangle wise and then fold it again and tuck it into my my journal and it creates a full pocket that's you know a pocket on its own it doesn't need to be glued down to anything so I just added some pearl trim and a bling and a little sticker there and then in the pocket I have one of the beautiful floral um, uh, library cards and then another tag that I just made out of one of the other collections this might be one of the background papers um, so those just tuck into that pocket and then here all I did was add some lace and I just stapled that lace on really pretty and then on the back side to hide the staples I just ripped out another uh, image from one of the pages and glued that down and look how beautiful I love the colors and I love that it kind of looks kind of like a watercolor in the background on some of the pages where there's color like only you know underneath where the birds are and then here um, <clears throat> is one of the envelopes 
and I printed it on vellum paper and then I just put a plain note card in it I added a sticker there and then this is how it looks in vellum so so pretty and then I added an, another sticker here um, so I just put the the little card in to actually help show the image of on the um, vellum envelope I put another piece of vellum here to use as a tuck spot and then just added that piece of bling there and then I also did some um, corner punching in the corners of some of the pages and I used um, this uh, EK success punch really pretty and I don't know what the name of it is but it's a really pretty punch <clears throat> and then here's another page I used a little um, brown bag or little pocket and I took one of the postcards and I cut it down so that it fit completely on the little pocket I put a flower there and then in here I tucked one of the postcards and then also one of the um, floral library po library cards that I printed smaller and then I also sprayed this page with some of the glimmer mist and then on this side I took one of those things to do cards and all of this are um, some of the decoupage flowers that I fussy cut so I printed them and then fussy cut them out and this one I just happened to put it here and I loved how it looked like the the stems that were already pre-printed on this little journaling spot um, looked like they would have been the stems for the flower so I just put the flower on the top I little added a little tab and then that just opens and you can write in there and then the other flowers I glued them down only on the sides to create a really cute little um, tuck spot on the page and then this is part of a um, a time card and I just put one of the flowers on the top and that tucks right there behind all of the flowers and then here is one uh, is just a line paper that I did a lot of spraying on I did a corner punch I added a little sticker and then put some more lace there and then this is the center of my journal and um, one of the things that I like to do on my journals is to hide the inside stitching so the stitching is is here and then after I stitched it together and I just used a, a, a three hole pamphlet stitch I just glued the sides together to create a cute little pocket out of the telegram papers and I just printed it um, twice and folded it over I did some corner punching there and then I filled it with um, one of the inventory cards and then a little uh, sticker and then this is just a um, library index card and that just tucks in there and then the other part of the line paper you can see all the spraying that I did really pretty and a quarter punching and another one of the beautiful papers I did some spritzing on this one so all the green little dots that you see are from that um, that spritz. Um, so this is another one of the um, the hummingbird papers with one of the the sentiments on it. Really, really beautiful. And then all this beautiful eyelet lace. I just love it. And this is my favorite page. Um, it just so happened that when I turned to this page, that these two images ended up together because these are two totally separate. Um, separate pages this is not the center of my book but I just love it it looks so clean and serene and all I did was do some corner punching I added the eyelet lace and then I did a lot of um, just um, spritzing on of the of the um, the green shimmer ink, um, spray and that's it I didn't want to add any more any more um, embellishments to it because I just thought it was just so beautiful just like that so there's plenty of space for me to journal on um, I can add pictures I can do anything just love this page and then on the next page uh, is another one with um, a sentiment on it and then on the other side is uh, one of the line papers and then behind that this page is another one of my favorites so on this side what I did was um, these are some of the decoupage flowers I printed them on glitter paper and I did this a while ago and this is actually two of the same images and I just inverted one and the other one is going up and I joined them right about here it's hard for you to see 
but I just glued them together right there to create a really beautiful belly band and then underneath that I just tucked some little uh, I think this is from the life of bloom and then this is another piece that I had from a previous um, project that I just used <clears throat> I cut it into a tag and used it on this project and then on this side, I took two more of the same sets, but they were smaller. So on the page where this comes, there's two large ones, two medium ones, and two small ones. So I fussy cut these out, and I layered them together, and then tucked some lace behind it, and made that into a cute little tuck spot. And then that's another tag from the Life of Bloom collection. Really, really pretty. And then on this page, all I did was add some of that beautiful pearl trim that I used on the cover. And then this is the other side of the um, square doily. So another full pocket here. And here I just took one of the rose uh, or floral um, library cards and printed that out and tucked that into the pocket. And then this is a pocket from, I think this is from the Charming Fragments collection. And um, I just you know fold it into the pocket and then put a little tag there into that pocket and then tie a little bow out of the lace and then just tuck all of that into the doily pocket and then this page I did some spritzing and just a corner punching and then this is the other side of that window envelope so I wanted to keep the or preserve the window so I glued down paper from the collection and then I cut out the window part. Um, so I didn't, you know, I left the, I didn't want to cut the plastic out. I wanted to preserve the fact that it was, that it's actually a window envelope. So again, this is the bottom of the envelope. I just cut a slit in it and then I made a little tag with a pocket on it from a library card. And then um, these are two of the postcards really pretty and then those just tuck into that pocket and then on the other side so this is the flap of the envelope so you can see that it's upside down I just glued this page on and then I cut where the flap is so that when there's nothing in the pocket it looks like just one full image but there's still a pocket there so this is the rest of the um, the time card and then here's one of the things to do cards journaling spots from the um, the hummingbird collection and then another one of the floral library cards and then this page just has some shimmer and also some eyelet lace really beautiful corner punching I did some spraying on this one and then this is the other half of the of the shimmer card that I put in so this is another one of the um, the envelopes that I printed on vellum. Really pretty. And then I just added some lace here and here and then put two flowers. So in that envelope I took just a blank card and then one of the things to do cards. And they're actually held into place by the flower that's at the top. Really cute. And then on the back I glued down this chipboard bird but only like from here back so then that created a little tuck that I could put one of the floral um, library cards that I printed smaller and then this is one of the um, pages from the life of bloom I just printed it put some lace and so gathered some of the lace at the top and then added a flower and those just both tuck underneath the bird And then another beautiful page from the collection. The back side of the, the, another, the second square doily. So I just put a chipboard heart there and then a smaller one on the other side. And then this page I added, um, or I did a corner punch and added some lace. And then on the back of the, of the, um, the inside of the back cover, um, I put a really large glassine bag. I folded the bottom up added some lace, added a sticker that I had in my stash with some lace behind it, and then I have three pockets here. So there's one pocket that's created from when I folded the bag up. So I have some things to do cards here, and then one of the beautiful postcards from the Life of Bloom collection. And then I just added a sticker, and then another um, page from the collection that I just did a cut into a pennant. And then in the second pocket, I just have one of these large inventory forms that I just put 
two flowers on to use those as pulls. And then um, in the back pocket, so the envelope, I only glued it down on three sides, leaving the top open to create the third pocket. And then I just have some lined paper that I did a lot of spritzing on. And then this is cut from one of the cards and it just acts as a little tab to keep this paper closed. And then it just opens into a trifold and then you can write or journal in that and that just tucks behind the glassine bag. So that is um, my Hummingbird um, junk journal for Tsunami Rose Designs. I will add um, links to the Tsunami Rose Etsy store and also to the Facebook groups in the description box. Definitely go on over and check out the beautiful, beautiful digital images and um, journaling, um, journaling kits and ephemera that Daisy offers. The majority of her printables are only $2.50 and you get multiples in that. It's not like you're only getting like one thing or one page or anything. So it's really cool. Just definitely go on over and check it out. Um, thank you so much everybody for watching and I hope you're all having a really great day. Bye!